Hello and welcome back to Heavy Breakdowns, everyone. We will discuss NCIS Hawaii Theory. It's time to promote Commander Chase to series regular. Commander Chase must appear more often. The third installment of the venerable CBS program, NCIS Hawaii, centers on agents Jane Tennant, Kai Homan, Jesse Boone, Lucy Tara, and Ernie Malik as they cooperate to solve crimes involving military officers in the Aloha State. All the while, Lucy and Jane are resolving personal matters in their leisure time, which for Lucy center on her lover, FBI agent Kate Whistler, who frequently works alongside NCIS in the field, and for Jane always involve her son Alex. With careful consideration of their interactions and by giving each team member the opportunity to support the others in different ways, the series has quickly transformed this group into a lovely family in just under two seasons. Commander Carla Chase is the only squad member who isn't listed as a series regular, but nonetheless plays a significant part. Chase is the specialist the team frequently requires to lead them in the proper route while conducting an investigation because he is the medical examiner. But unlike in the original, where Ducky and Pommy were the two main characters, Chase doesn't appear in every episode. She is a recurring character, but she has constantly shown that she is prepared to assume a more prominent role, and if the authors finally took the risk, she could contribute so much to the show. In NCIS, Hawaii, Commander Chase is a unique character. A cast of characters that are shockingly likable and simple to root for has been developed for NCIS, Hawaii. One of these individuals is Commander Chase, although we haven't gotten to see her nearly enough. Because she isn't a main character, her past hasn't been as completely developed. Despite this, Chase is an experienced military officer and a subject matter specialist. We can see right away that Chase is different from other medical examiners we've met on television. However, one might contend that she resembles Rizzoli and Isles Mora Isles quite a little. Chase is a very intellectual person who utilizes science to motivate her. Until she has all the data and the test results, she will not speculate about what might have happened to the folks at her table. Chase appears to be somewhat naturopathic but is also very in tune with nature and does not discount the superiority of contemporary medicine. She is at home with nature, has her crystals, and is savoring their time in Hawaii's uniqueness and beauty in a manner that the other characters are not. Chase has a very particular perspective on the world, which makes this writer think of Spencer Reed from Criminal Minds. In the mid-season finale of the second season, when Chase is abducted by an army ranger charged with murder, we witness a little more of her lack of concern for social conventions and her tendency to bluntly state the obvious. He demands Chase perform an autopsy on the corpse to establish his innocence while he is being held at gunpoint, which she performs without using her usual tools, further showcasing her depth of knowledge and skill. The entire time, she makes an effort to enter the kidnapper's head in order to comprehend what is happening and free herself. This is a common television trope that was given new life by Chase's involvement in Kofod's outstanding performance. Her relationships require further growth. In addition to the basic need for more of the character alone, Chase's interactions with the other characters are also quite interesting and require additional exploration. However, this can only be done in a worthwhile way if she is elevated to one of the primary actors moving forward. With Jesse, Lucy, and Kai, who all admire her for her intelligence and accomplishments but don't appear particularly devoted to her, Chase engages in amusing banter. Despite the narrow emphasis, her interactions with Jane and Ernie are very lovely. Whether it is true or not, there seems to be a lot of history between these women and Jane. They have a deeper understanding of one another than most of the team because of their histories as women who had to battle their way to this important and powerful positions in such male-dominated areas. They have shared experiences and are now in stable positions in their lives and careers. They struggled with relationships while putting too much emphasis on their jobs. After Jane lost her mentor Maggie Shaw, there is no reason why she can't turn to Chase for advice and consolation when she needs it. Currently, it occurs occasionally, but it ought to happen more frequently, and Jane ought to return the favor frequently. Crossover event stars from NCIS tease a superhero-like collaboration. We didn't fully understand how close these characters were to one another until the mid-season finale of the second season, which is the first and only episode to extensively emphasize Chase. Ernie and Chase are close friends who share a variety of hobbies, including going to the same workout sessions before work. Kofod and Entune, the actors who play these characters, have been married for more than 10 years in real life, thus there is a special intimacy and familiarity that viewers can feel between Chase and Ernie. That's not to imply that the two characters have to be the show's romantic interests, but even just highlighting their strong relationship would appeal to viewers and change everything. In conclusion, it's time to add Commander Chase to the NCIS Hawaii roster as a regular, since the role of the medical examiner cannot be underestimated when looking into murders and other strange deaths. It doesn't make sense that she isn't already. Chase has a great depth of information that could undoubtedly be put to use in another fashion, even if the writers don't always want to focus on murders to distinguish this show from others in the world that do, which appears to be the case, even if it's just, just sitting in the office and discussing the facts with different team members to assist them in finding their next lead. Her position as a series regular, however, need not be solely professional. 
just give us more exposure to this remarkable character and what she has to offer. I hope the video is enjoyable. If you find it more interesting, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and bell button for more videos. Thank you for watching.